MPLAB IDE version 8.7 where IDE is integrated development environment as the software has editor, assembler, compiler, simulator, programmer, debugger and emulator. So these features integrate themselves and build an environment which is very good for development. Guys today we are going to glow some LEDs in Proteus by doing programming in MPLAB IDE. So let's discuss special function register which we are going to use in today's program. First is stress X. This register sets input output status for pin of microcontroller. Like if I want a pin to behave as an input, then I would set its value 1 in truth X register. But if I want a pin to behave as an output, then I would set its value 0 in truth X register. While using truth X register, we have to write the value of X as A, B, C, D or E. For example, like I am using first 4 pins of port C from RC0 to RC3 for connecting LEDs and last 4 pins of port C from RC4 to RC7 for connecting switches. Now you can see in table that I have written 0 for pins where I have connected LEDs for output and 1 for those pins where I have connected switches for input. Now we can easily write this in program as tris C is equals to 0B 1111000 where 0B signifies a binary value. Also tris C is equals to 0XF0 where 0 x signifies a hexadecimal value. Next we have is port x. We will use this for setting value for any port a, b, c, d or e. For example, I have connected 8 LEDs on port c and sets its value as 0 x 0 f. Now only those LEDs will glow whose respective pin value is set as 1. Let's do embedded C programming. Now friends you have to open MPLIB IDE version 8.7 and then you will see how it opens. Before doing programming we have to make project first for that click on project then project wizard then click on next. Here you have to select name of microcontroller on which you have to do programming like PIC16F887 then click on next. Now in active tool suit you always have to select high tech universal tool suit for doing programming in C language. The next, here you have to browse where you want to save this project like on desktop. Write here any name like pick project dot C. Never forget to mention extension dot C okay then save. Next, next and then finish and you would see here we have make a project pick project dot C okay. Now for doing programming, click on new file and you will see an untitled window opens. Friends, now I have made a smatic in Proteus with 8 LEDs. I have connected these to port C and I want these LEDs to blink continuously. For that I have made a program in MPLAB IDE. You can see at first I have written hash include pick.h which is a header line for pick programming. Next, I have declared a delay function to observe blinking in real and here is a main function in which we do programming for microcontroller. At first, there is a tris c is equals to 0x00. It means all pins of port c will behave as an output. Next, port c is equals to 0x00. It means LEDs won't glow initially. Okay. Then here is an infinite while loop in which we are inverting the value of port c and providing some delay. Here is the delay function. After that you have to save this file. For that click here and you can save it anywhere like on desktop with pick program dot c. Okay. Don't forget to mention extension dot c here also. Now you can see some colors has changed. Now you have to add this file to source files. For that right click on it and select add files and select this program here and you can see this file has been selected here. After that you have to build it and you can see here that build successful has been written in the output section. Here is output section and here is build 
successful it means there is no error in this now we have to link this project to the schematic which we made in proteus for that we have to select this microcontroller and right click on it select edit properties and you can see a file symbol now we have to select the hex file of project okay it must be a hex file okay of project then click on okay and then you have to run it and you can see blinking now you can glow these leds in different other ways too like only five time blinking 1 2 3 4 5 that's it you can diverge and converge them this way you can make other different patterns too friends don't forget to add your programs to source files in mblib ide and build them because this is a very common mistake people do If you find this video useful don't forget to like it and for further learning subscribe my channel thank you